What's going on everybody? This is Kevin here coming at you with my complete comparison between the Bose Soundlink Color 1 and the Bose Soundlink Color 2. So the Soundlink Color 2 recently came out so it's new to the market. Now I've been using the Soundlink 1 for quite some time now. This is my daily go-to Bluetooth speaker. So I, I've, I know a lot about this speaker. I've been using it for quite some time now and I have nothing but good things to say about it. So in a previous video I did do a review of just this, the Soundlink Color 2 by itself. So I recommend taking a look at that if you want. This video is really just going to stick to the differences between these two. And I'll start off by mentioning the main features that are different between the two. So essentially with the Soundlink Color 2, you're going to be gaining water resistance. So it's not going to be completely waterproof, but you can still get a little wet and not have to worry about it dying on you. And you're also going to have the ability to do phone calls and other things that would involve the microphone that's built into here. There is no microphone on the Soundlink Color 1 and it wouldn't survive if it got wet, or at least that's not guaranteed. So th those are really the two main advantages with the Bose Soundlink Color 2. The materials are also a little bit different. The Soundlink Color 2 has this more of a rubbery feel to it, whereas the Soundlink 1 has a harder plastic material. Personally, I think they both are very attractive looking, so that's not really a big deal to me, but they're just different. So, you know, they this one's more plasticky and this one's more rubbery, but essentially uh, they both have their own distinct styles. Let's now take a look at the buttons on both of these devices, and they're pretty similar. On the left side, we have a power button on both, then there's a Bluetooth pairing button on both. The button that says AUX on the Soundlink 1 on top essentially does the same thing as that arrow circle button on the bottom. And then we have a volume up and down buttons on both. And then this play pause button is included in the multifunction button here on the Soundlink Color 2. This multifunction button has other features too, uh, such as allowing you to skip calls and uh, skip songs and go back on songs. It also allows you to activate Siri and Google Now, which you can't do Siri and Google Now on the Soundlink Color 1 since it doesn't have a microphone. So on the Soundlink Color 1 on the sides, there is absolutely nothing. That is different on the Soundlink Color 2 because on this side we have the micro USB port for charging and then we have the 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack. Now on the back side of the Soundlink Color 1, we have those same ports. So essentially it does the same thing there, but there's some different locations on the devices. We also have speaker grills on the back on both. And then flipping over to the bottom, it's a little fancier on the Soundlink Color 2. Essentially, we don't have all this ugly writing on the Soundlink Color 2 that's on the Soundlink Color 1. Because you can see here, it just says literally the, the name and there's a QR code and a serial number. But besides that, we just have this nice big rubbery piece at the bottom that kind of stops the device from moving around on the table. We of course have these shoes on here as well, so you won't really get any slippage for either of these speakers. So at this point in the comparison, I have compared the form factors of these two speakers, the button layout, and the general dynamics of the exterior of the product. Now we can dive on in and do an audio test. Now let me warn you here, they're pretty similar in audio quality. You're not going to notice anything too major, especially not through the computer speakers and the camera microphone. But I, I think you'll get a little bit better performance, because I've used both. You'll get a better performance on the Soundlink Color 2, but really, nothing too dramatic. I wouldn't let that decide to buy one over the other. It's really not that major of an improvement here. So as I'd mentioned before, you're not going to notice much of an improvement sound-wise with the Soundlink Color 2, although I did notice a little bit better bass, but nothing noticeable enough to impact your buying decision. Now another thing I did notice is that the Soundlink Color 2 paired a lot quicker with my iPhone 6 Plus than the Soundlink Color 1. I'm not sure why, but this paired instantly and this kind of hesitated a little bit. 
Another little thing there that probably wouldn't dictate a buying decision. So what would make you choose one over the other? Well, if you really think you're going to use the microphone feature here by answering phone calls and using Siri and all that, and also maybe getting this wet sometimes, then I think the SoundLink 2 is worth the extra money. Another cool feature that would come along with having the ability to answer calls in here is if you're in the swimming pool or something and you want to talk to somebody, but you don't want to hold the phone, of course, in your hand. You might have the phone far away on a table or something like that, and you just want to be able to talk freely and openly. Well, you could do that with this because you'll probably be putting this by the pool anyway so that you can change songs and adjust the volume. But if that feature is not important to you, then I think the SoundLink Color 1 is still a great choice. So it really depends on the pricing that you can find for either of these. Like I mentioned, I recently picked this up for $129. I'm not really sure what the SoundLink Color 1 is going for now as since its successor is now out. Uh, the availability of this is more limited. It's still around and everything, but the prices are always changing on the SoundLink Color 1. So that's up to you to find the latest pricing. I will be leaving links down in the video description for both of these devices, so make sure to click on those and check those out. If you have any questions at all, leave them down in the comments section below. Make sure to like this video if you support my channel, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. And then check out the video description for a link to my review of the Bose SoundLink Color 2 where I just focus on this device by itself. So once again, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.